feel like, at least when he played against Nico, he looked so comfortable in the matchup. But of course, Tome, definitely a different breed oh. of uh, Shulks when it um, when, when we're, we're talking about matchups, right? So we'll see how Tome utilizes this range that Shulks brings to the table. But man, Kamehameha has all those pesky projectiles that Tome has to dip, weave, and dodge through, right? That's right. If you're enjoying all these matches, be sure to hit that follow button. I hope you're all enjoying Switch Fest. This has been an amazing tournament with full of talent. And if you guys want to support GGG, of course, you can also hit that subscribe button. It comes with a bunch of emotes as well. So I'm going to fix that up for you guys. And both these players just warming up. You can already see Kome kind of taking some deep breaths, getting ready for the battle to come, man. Oh, he knows exactly how much of a struggle this matchup can be, especially to get in. Kome, like we saw earlier, very comfortable with playing patient. And he's going to force Kome to approach in every interaction. Oh, yeah. And I mean, like, the thing is, Kome is, especially just Shulk in general, they're probably used to just always having the range advantage. But then then it's just like, oh, wow, now I'm fighting pellets. Like, yeah. oh. you, like, low-key kind of have the range advantage here. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's pellets. Shulk versus any projectile character, but... Pellets, and don't forget about that range S-match. We might see Kamehame actually utilize the range S-match um, if Kome is trying to snap to the ledge. Yeah, and I mean, of course, the pellets, the saw blades, with the forward smash, you know, of course, Mega Man being uh, one of those zoner projectile characters up air as well, going to be uh, a different type of projectile, or a more vertical one. But yeah, look at this um, Kamehameha just staying back, utilizing these pellets to keep the Shulk out. Like I was saying, you know, the Saw Blade just covers so much distance. But wow, big damage coming out from Kome. 56 off the dot, man. And that is the uh, the power of the Buster Art, man. Just coming right through, getting a three-hit combo. And man, all of a sudden, look at this. All the momentum on Kome's side. And he's dashing around. Really curious about how Kome's going to utilize speed mode against Kamehameha. Because so far, just to my expectation, he really hasn't been able to. Yeah, there's a shield art just to try and get out of that bread and butter situation. But you, when you are in the shield art, you are slower, so it's not going to get that dash grab. And essentially, it's just going to allow Kamehameha to put more distance between him and Kome. Dude, he parried that aerial, and that move has so much range, he could not parry dash grab. How in that is insane. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, well, jump mode is active, using an air, and slowly approaching Kome while he's uh, chilling on the ledge. And the thing about Mega Man, like, you can keep people out with pellets, but the thing is, every time you land one, it's not too much damage. You know what I mean? Like, you're not you're not taking, like, bombs or any other, like, some of these other projectiles that do like, quite a bit of damage, right? Right, right? So right now, Komi is just getting chipped for a couple percent um, for the pellets, but for the most part, like, when we see what happens when Komi gets in. Yes. Komi will get in and do big damage, make big plays. Mei Mei, he's playing the slow and steady game. Oh, but well, slow and steady, wow. I guess that's one way to turn it up from slow and steady. <laughs> Going to go ahead and get that saw blade confirmed right into the up tilt. It looked like a true combo here. And Kome, it, we've seen him throughout so many matchups really capitalize on the edge guard. But Mega Man has one of the best recoveries in the game. Even okay. after, He can up B and then double jump. As I say, he edge guards him. <laughs> <laughs> he can up B, save his double jump, then double jump. Even after that, after the up B, you can directional air dodge as well. Yeah, very slippery to catch this super fighting robot off stage. Demo does come out and cool, getting the link for the up tilt or the up air, and oh, going so deep, but he interrupted him. Wow! Right after the whiff forward air, Kamehameha was like, actually, let me just a little poke right here. And because he wasn't high enough percent, he didn't get hit into the stage, so he didn't have a chance to go for the stage spike. And the, the double jump was burned. So because he was at such a low percent at that position, it actually messed him up. Wow. Big Man. brain play is coming from uh, Kamehameha. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you can get a stock at 30%, on, especially on a character like Shulk, where like usually you're killing him on an average of 150 because of the shield art, that is uh, much, much value there. Right, the saw blade is out now, utilizing the leaf kill and then throwing it right back at him. Hey, gonna get the full twirl on that one, and Kameme is just extending this lead little by little. Kome trying to find an opening, but wow, Kameme dashing him right towards him. Yeah, he was looking very comfortable sitting in shield while the buster mode was active. But Kameme does need to make some moves. Unfortunately, that shield doesn't last forever, and now we see the forward air putting Kameme off stage and into the ledge. Oh man, the backwards hit of the neutral air. Kome has Kamehameha exactly where he wants him. Forder does connect once again, rinse and repeat here, but the crash bomb on the ledge gonna relieve a little bit of pressure here. Almost looking like Kome is trying to set up for a grab, 
But jump mode is active and required to make it back to the stage. Okay, here's the landing forward air. What does Kome have available? The forward tilt with no Monado art will go ahead and take that stock. 66%, that's not, that's not too much damage. Kome can make that up very easily. He's actually just taking the fellas to the face. He just like doesn't care. <laughs> I mean, I feel like the only mode you really don't want to just be taking pellets to the face for free is Buster. Is Buster. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, I mean that's that's another thing too. Like speed art is such an essential thing for uh, for Schult to get in and have like strong neutral at these earlier percents. But I feel like speed art is just not that great against Kameme particularly, or just just Mega Man because it's like oh I'm running in or like get pellet. Like now you're not getting the same value for speed art, right? That's true. I mean even the nair, the way the Mega Man's nair works. If Kome just gets a little bit too close in, or Kamehameha messes up the spacing, if you can nair him, just push him right back out. Yeah, if you get too close to that nair right up next to Mega Man, it does have a strong hitbox there, and it will just send you pretty much flying right there. We Ooh. see that comboing off of the, the three-hit combo there. Right now, Kome is taking so much chip damage, but he's just trying to be patient. He's trying to find a, a, a safer opening to get in. I mean, Mega Man's just trying to sell some lemonades. He's got the lemonade stand up. He's trying to quench some thirst. Okay, Kome chipping away, getting some oh. of these down tilt, um, down tilt pokes, some of these nair pokes. Media is switching to jump. You know, he knows that Kamei was just gonna play evasive and make yeah. it very difficult to land a hit while he's in um, smash mode. Are you dead? He's oh not dead man, yet. not dead yet. Oh man, can he get the? Oh, oh, he gets the forward smash. No way. Kome just sneaks that game right under Kameme's nose. Thought that directional air out to, to the ledge would save my man. Negative. I mean, you just showed that card one too many times. <laughs> Damn. He has been committing to doing directional air dodge because he was expecting forward airs to come out to cover a wide area. And Kome with the heart read. That move is so strong. He wasn't even in Smash Heart. And this is Mega Man we're talking about. Mega I Man is he heavy. Took, he took two stocks without Smash Heart. Yeah. He got with the F-Tool and the S-Mash. It, it really just comes down to Kome hitting the forward air and setting up the situation, right? Because where every where all the magic happens for Shulk is off stage or like on the ledge. Because forward air is so gigantic, they're able to really abuse that. With Smash Heart or even without, just getting these hits just means so much. Hey, okay, well, using, utilizing speed mode, able to cross up and get a grab, but ooh, jab block. Jab block with down air. That was cute. Fun fact, uh, Mega Man's down air is the uh, most positive move on block in the game. <laughs> That, that kind of makes sense. It is a projectile. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. But right there, going with the speed art, just crouching, just taking some of these pellets, man. Kome, uh, Kome does not really mind. He does not want to get locked down into that um, in the shield. Okay, and smash mode, sixty percent. Oh, very interesting. He had Kome in disadvantage, right in front of him, and he opted to switch to bus mode instead of just utilizing smash. I know when you switch, you do get some intangibility there. The smash art was probably just a mistake. Like, why are you going smash art against a Mega Man at 60? Kind of thing. I, I think he had big plans for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Mega I, Man at I 60, not, if, I want to kill you. If Kome switched to smash mode, at, even with his opponent at 0%, I'm like, okay, he's up to what? something. <laughs> he's up what, to something. What are you trying to cook up, man? What's going on here? Tries to get the drop zone fair, but Kamehameha sneaks right through. And Kome is keeping the pressure up. Look at all these aerials. The smash art, there's so much to respect here. And look at the patience coming out from Kamehameha. He was looking for Kome to push a button. Okay, sets up the saw blade. Shield art with the insurance, man. He's going to get right back on the stage. Even if I lose neutral here, I'm fine. I'm in shield art. Mm -hmm. And that shield art did, in fact, make him lose neutral and put him back in the corner. And that back air was all it took, catching the second jump from Kome. Yep, if you're in the corner, uh, you know, Kameme is just so good at calling out these jumps in the corner. He's so good at conditioning you to make you feel like it's safe. And then that's when he strikes the back air. Saving his second jump, making sure that he's able to make it back to the stage, running across stage and getting the forward throw. Get over here. <laughs> like he, he like chased him entire, entire uh, like throughout the whole entire stage. That was funny. He just beeline is directly for him. Okay, now we have a back throw. Speed mode is on. Okay, here's the Pellets putting a, putting a stop to that approach. Yeah, uh, Pellets is such a great way to lock up shield mode or to actually force shield mode to start jumping like a little higher. And speed art is the, the where it's utilized the most is when he's on the ground. A very patient play coming out from Kameme. Okay, yep, just fades back with the up B. No, no sweat there, center stage, and look at this robot. It is very, very heavy, and I love the coverage with the saw blade. Forcing himself 
He has been off stage for quite a bit, but you know what? All this burn time, it's all going in his favor. 173%. This fighting robot is still alive. Ledge jump, switching right into the shield art, then switching into the smash art for the up B. What a way to shuffle through all these Monado arts. Komei's insane. Shuffling through all the Monado arts and getting a little bit of intangibility is what he really wanted. And it's paying dividends. That's so good, man. That that was like you had to do it so quick too. And just incredible play coming out from Kome, but right now, even after that play, Kameme is still the one in the driver's seat. That's right, Busmo is online seeing if Kome can actually just get a poker to you know, really make this Buster mode work in his favor, but good tech chase, good read from Kameme. Yeah, very, very solid stuff, and Kameme will find a will, always find a way for this up tilt, man. He'll parry for it, he'll get the tech chase for it. That up tilt is way too powerful, and it's way too damn cool looking to not get. Oh, it's one of the hypest moves in the game for sure. If that move was not powerful, it would be a darn shame. It would be, it'd definitely be a crime. I'd have to call <laughs> the Smash Police on that one. <laughs> All right, Buster, wow. Well, Kome is in fact trying to get back on stage, taking a little bit of damage along the way. And look at this, what a, what a turnaround, I mean, like, to be fair though, Kameme was pretty much like commanding the game like this in game number one, but Kome just like super clutched it out. So we'll see uh, if Kome can still set up a situation very similar to game number one, because right now Kameme is just has so much control over this game. Okay, forward air to punish the ledge get up from Kome. Ooh, oh, I grabbed using, it? Yeah, using the directional air dodge to actually grab the saw blade. Oh man, that uh that down air was looking real, real close. We're forcing Kamehameha off stage. Oh, oh Metal yeah. Blade into back air. Couldn't switch to the shield art fast enough. I believe it was still on cooldown as well. So he might have been able to do it off like the saw blade hit, but I think it was on cooldown. So the saw blade into the back air will seal it out. And when you're killing Shulk at 120%, that is a godsend. That's an early stock for the uh, yes. majority of the cast. You know, that's like, yeah, you know, that's I, I, I expected that, but yeah, yeah. no, for Shulk? That's pretty early. <laughs> that is a pretty early stock for Shulk. They um, usually bleed in deep red, those numbers. Oh, yeah. So Kamehame getting himself on the board here, especially uh, it can be demoralizing when uh, uh, like a game kind of gets snuck away from you like it did for Kamehame, that game number one. But you know what? It's best of five, and this guy, these guys are veteran competitors. They can shake things off like that in a second. Would not be surprised if we have another game five set, especially oh, yeah. with the way that these two are going back and forth, the way that Kome is really... You know, playing these trap cards what? onto Kamehame. Did you just see how Kome like, knew the exact spacing on those spells? That was the first spell he got hit by. But, like, he was just maneuvering around them perfectly with his jumps and the speed art, walking with the speed art. Wow, dude, these guys are so precise. All this micro spacing is coming into play, and guess what? That's why these two players made it to the top four, why they're in winner's finals. They tried to get the up air, but it looks like uh, Kamehameha is doing it the wrong way, but he'll catch him catch him back up on the ledge trap here. What's the pressure? Rising forward air to catch him right out of the air. Ooh, and the Z drop. Saw blade. We see him set up that into the up tilt, so watch out for that at those later percents. Yeah, but Bustamo coming out, and as you can see, Kamehameha playing a little bit of defense, saying, guess what? I have a pretty decent lead. I want to keep it. Yeah, I, I don't want to take the Buster mode gamble You can right have now. center stage. Yeah. I don't need it. Okay, but looking like he needs it right about now. Okay, nicely timed neutral air dodge there. Some people will panic and just opt for the directional air dodge, which is a lot laggier. And I said it earlier, and wow, Kameme does deliver. That's right, you warned him. You tried to be there for him. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh whoa, okay. whoa, whoa, I thought whoa. that was going to connect. Dude, that, he, he, he might have died at 20 which is absolutely insane. But that move is very, very strong. Oh, the shield art and switching right to the buster, but Kameme will come in with the forward air and get the best out of that situation. But ooh, back throw it does do a lot of damage, or w especially mode. with the buster. Yeah, smash one now online. Kameme sitting in shield, but a good cross up into up tilt. Yeah, I love some of these up air cross ups that we see uh, a lot of the Shulks going for nowadays, especially with up air, so, so crafty. And I like that they go through the cross up right into the up tilt because most people, after they get crossed up, they want to jump. They just want to get out of that situation, Great, right? Jump. Okay, and jump mode is Ooh. on. But the crash bomb is going to allow Kamehameha to make it back. 
Wow, and look at that shield pressure. And like I said before, that down air is so, so positive on block. So Kamamo was at, after that down air, was able to go into the back air as well. Just that whole shield pressure sequence was so good off the setup from the crash bomb. Did you see that sneaky setup that Kamamo went for? He, he jumped at Kamamo and immediately switched to Smash, expecting for uh, Kamamo to like stay in shield, right. and immediately went for a Tomahawk. Yeah, really smart stuff. And I mean, it's just so good because for the mo most part, they are going to be respecting your hitboxes because you you have the smash already. You're showing them you are glowing red. They do not want to get hit. <laughs> red is usually a bad color. That's a, that's a bad sign. Yeah. But man, Kamami out here glowing red all day long with this Mega Man, dude. He's just putting in so much work. That down air was so close to hitting forward smash. Very safe. Oh, gets the lock, but wow, one too many hits. That's right, too much lemonade. My man Komei was just getting right back up, and the back air is able to poke in, taking the first stock from Kamehameha. But guess what? Revenge kill, and that puts Kamehameha up a full stop. Yeah, really good stuff from Kamehameha. Again, just being in full control. This game number three, looking very, very similar to the first half of game one and two. Okay, back air. Onto Komei. While he was still in Buster Mode, it's going to tack on just a little bit of extra damage. You know, it's not exactly what Komei is looking for in these pellets. Especially in up. Buster Art. Like, look at how much damage he took. Ooh, the parry on the second slash as well. We getting fancy for no reason up in here, Kamehameha. I like when Kamehameha, like, did take. When he is, like, putting Komei at the ledge, and Komei just hanging a little bit too long, he backs off, just tries to see what option he's going to pick. Right, right. And, I mean, that's what you need to do. Like, just, okay, I'm going to, oh, man, that downer was so close to connecting. Komei getting away with murder on that one. Man, with the amount of, like, close calls that Komei's had with these downers, I kind of want to see one land for once. Oh, gets the grab combo, and that saw blade is so good. You get so many follow-ups off of it. Nair, down air. Wow, what's the what? setup here? Ooh, going to catch him high. There's no double jump, but the platform saves Kameme, gives him all his resources back. That is so unfortunate for Kome. The town and city assist. Not many get to see it, but when oh. you do, oh boy, is it in your favor. A forward throw is going to put Kameme on stage, and I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen again. Dude, that, like, Kome worked so hard to get that set up. He got so many great reads off stage, but now just Kameme is back on stage with both of these stocks online. And that's unfortunate because this is his counter pick. Yeah. <laughs> the, oh, man, the, the, the counter pick betrayals, dude, it's real. Sometimes, <laughs> oh, man, and like that, I just, it, I feel like right when that platform thing happened, I was like, it's over. Yeah. That, that's a wrap, dude. Like, Kome put so much into that edge guard situation. He's like, all right, I'm going to close it out here. Make, I'm going to do some shulk things on this last stock. And yeah, yeah. And this town and city was like, how about I invalidate all your efforts? Actually, uh, <laughs> he has his double jump and his up back. Here you go. <laughs> I <Good> mean, <laughs> yeah, and like Kome actually still hit him <laughs> off the platform, but it's like that didn't even matter. Like, kind of mattered, but it was just like, oh, man, now he's got everything back. Yeah, he's got everything back. And, of course, he also had an additional platform to recover to if he decided to. Yeah, that's so, so unfortunate. But you know what? Those platforms do come in on a timer. So technically, if you're godlike enough and you just memorize all the time, he would have known that was coming. That's true. So, I mean, it's definitely hard to do that. I know, I know Krom was mains. There. It was available. Krom mains definitely do that. I've seen Krom mains like purposely like just up be out of nowhere and then they like land on the platform and ride it in. <laughs> I've seen that in bracket. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, well, here we are, game four. Kome needs to put, uh, you know, with this counter pick here on Pokemon Stadium 2, he's really going to invalidate the stage from Jeez. making an appearance. Man, the crowd popping off. That was so much damage. That was such a great combo coming out. And, man, I'm just seeing just newer and newer Shulk tech as this tournament goes on. There's so much to learn. Shields mode, of course, going to allow Kome to make it back to the stage. Yeah, he got hit by the Metal Blade. All I did was really eat up. Uh, it's a meter. All right, so this time, come out, uh, Kome with the lead here. And now, look, look at this, just the ledge traps and the offstage continuing here in this forward air. These back air is so hard to deal with when you're in the corner. That's right, back air even poking through the pellet and still landing on Kameme. But now, we're seeing like, go for a grab setup. No, Kameme able to back air out of shield. Okay, now Kameme slowing things down though. Finally gets back on stage, but just as I say it, Kome just swats him right back out. Ooh, here's some pellets to get him back on, but the dash back forward smash will not connect with Kome. Okay, but that back here does poke, and now Kome is chasing Kameme all over Pokemon Stadium 2. 
And right now, Kameme, even when he's in the corner, he's still taking his time. He's crouching. He doesn't have to rush into things. But the falling up air hit number two? Wow. That usually, killed him. Usually, you know, we see that setup. They're going for, like, hit one to try and pop him up and then maybe uh, follow up with another up air. Right. Forget all that. Yeah, I'm just going to. Just, just a second hit. Just, I'm just going to get this hit number two. I'm going to actually take you right off the top here at around 140% here on Pokemon Stadium 2. And now, Komei with the lead and the parry into the up tilt, but unfortunately, the sour spot, that back hit, not going to do it here for Komei. And that's in part thanks to uh, Komei going for the cross up instead of, like, landing right in front of Komei. Yeah, and again, we're going to see the shield art right on the edge here. Komei wants that guaranteed I'm back on stage. And as he gets it with the shield art, he gets to the shield art, now switch to jump mode. and make it very easy for him to be approaching with those short hops. He's going to get to cover a lot of distance, especially in speed mode. Wow, look at this Shulk move. This character is fast, but as I say it, Kamehameha is like, slow it down, bro. Slow it down. I'm going to throw out this meaty hitbox, and especially it's going to be one that kills. Nothing gets fast, uh, Shulk may be fast, but not as fast as electricity. Yeah, definitely right on that one. So now Kamehameha pretty much evening it up here. Um, but we'll see if anyone can really like establish a very good footing. And oh, the up there are coming, especially with that bus art. Look at how much damage Kamehameha took from that. Yeah, you wanted a lead, and there it is. But now Kamehameha answering right back. We saw an up air do connect. It kind of messes with spacing. Kamehameha not really able to follow up, but landing on stage with a couple of nares. Kamehameha looking like he wasn't ready for it. Now, and I mean, what looked like such a great game for Kome, look at this, um, Kameme just really turning it around after getting that first lock, not really taking that much damage. And that's like really something to say because Kome has a lot of tools to deal a lot of damage, especially like that Buster Art and a bunch of other, and like the Speed Art to like make the neutrals even stronger and harder to deal with for Mega Man here. I know what you're saying, that Buster Mode is a double-edged sword, and we can see that Kameme wasn't really utilizing it against Kome in that last interaction, but Smash Mode is going to be gone. Buster Mode back online. Who's going to be on the receiving end of all this damage? We see a trade. I love how Kome is utilizing uh, Waveland at the corner. He'll set himself up in the air, and it looks like, okay, this is at the point where he would pop a forward air. He just sinks a little bit lower, then he wave lands backwards, and it's just like, oh, okay, like I didn't swing there, and I'm like repositioning myself on the ground. Okay, forward air from the ledge, using the offensive options from the ledge. Going for that second hit of up air again, but yeah. Kamehameha was ready. For the forward airs. Oh, Ooh. man, the pump fake got the spot dodge, but where are you going? The smash art finally gets drained out. Kamehameha does not want to deal with that. But oh, give him the charge shot, though. Yeah. That's going to put Kamehameha up a stock. And that's just such a great oh, cross stage. Yes, it is going to be with the smash art, and now we're here. Man, game number four, last stock of peace. Both these competitors playing so, so well right now. Yeah, but Kamehameha's going to have to play just so much better than he is. Than Kamehameha is. Okay, landing a down air is going to put Kamehameha back on the floor. Dude, every time I see Kome, like hit down air, I just hear all the strokes in the crowd popping off. Dude. They, there must be a conversion off that down air that hasn't happened yet because they're, look, they make it sound like that's the end of that stock. Oh, like, yeah, How yeah. hard they pop off. I mean, we saw Kome do some stuff earlier, uh, like today and yesterday. Like he'll like down air into some other stuff. So you definitely get a lot of damage, but definitely a situation depending on how much rage and what percent Mega Man's at. Okay, getting the grab. Kome is just sitting in chill just a little bit too long, and now the Metal Blade and the Nair approach from Kamehameha keeping Kome at the ledge. Yeah, Kome just taking some of these uh, pellets, but they're starting to add up real quick because he is in that Buster Art. Uh, both players are going to take uh, more damage. Maybe he's trying to use the Buster Art to try and bait Kamehameha in because when he is in Buster Art, we do see Kamehameha approaching just at, just at the distance where pellets are going to connect. Yeah. Oh, man, you got to watch out for all the Saw Blade tricks. Kome has a bunch of tricks with the Monado art, but of course, uh, good bait. Yeah, and I mean, right into the shield art, too. The guarantee that landing go right through that tornado. Kome needs to find center stage. He finally gets it. How long can he hold it for? Not too long. Kamehameha just throws him right back out. Right, speed mode online. But with smash mode, he's not going to be able to make it back. And, and Kamehameha takes it over Kome here in winner's finals. Gets the gimp. And I'll tell you what, man, Shulk. Definitely has that crazy offstage, but he can get gimped as well. And Kamehameha showing.